Hello everybody, today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to deploy Layer 2 VPNs over MPLS using HP's Intelligent Management Center. Uh, this video is going to be in two parts. Firstly, I'll give you a quick explanation around the environment and what I've got, and then we'll go into a quick demo. So uh, firstly, I've got uh, eight routers and these are HP VSR routers um, sitting in a virtual environment. And also I've got a Windows 2008 server, which is hosting HP IMC in a standalone mode. So this isn't really a live type of environment, more for labs, but uh, and sitting on a single laptop, but powerful enough to demonstrate the principles of what we're trying to see. So I have um, in the environment, I have four MPLS routers. I've got three PE routers and a single P router. Now, the uh, actual architecture here isn't what I would recommend deploying in the real world, but this is purely for demonstration purposes. You would have resilience, maybe more P routers and more P routers. Also in this environment, I have four customer edge routers. These are also HP VSRs. Uh, we have seven and six and five and eight and i'm going to run two layer two vpns between these i'm going to run the red vpn between uh, ce7 and ce6 and in fact i've already deployed this and then i'm going to run uh, vpn blue between ce5 and ce8 now, uh, you may notice uh, that I'm actually running some overlapping address space because this is allowed in an MPLS environment. You'll see that the uh, CE devices to the PEs uh, are running a 172.31.1 um, with uh, a slash 30 mask and uh, host ends are dot two and dot two respectively and here we have a dot one and a dot one so we'll get some sort of neighborship between the two ce devices in each vpn so uh, important thing about deploying uh, layer two vpns uh, using hp imc is that uh, your PEs have to be ready to um, be layer two vpn devices so it's quite important that you enable layer two vpns here here and here Otherwise, you cannot import those devices into IMC to use as a layer two uh, VPN devices. OK, so a bit of a small explanation around the MPLS environment. And uh, my assumption is that you do understand MPLS and know how to set this up. Um, I'm running OSPF here between uh, all it, on all the PEs as the IGP, and all I'm doing is uh, using the loopbacks on all of these. And PE one has a loopback one, PE two loopback two two two, loop uh, PE three loopback three three three, and PE four has loopback four four four. Now you'll also notice my customer edge devices have loopbacks, but they are nothing to do with the LDP process. It was just a simple convention, and we'll use those later in some routing. So in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a routing protocol between the CE devices over the MPLS network, and so they become adjacent to one another in their own OSPF network. Um, so if I can quickly show you this on CE6. Um, so let's uh, quickly go across to that device. So if I look at CE6 and I do a, a display OSPF peer, 
you can see I have an OSPF adjacency to 172.31.1. If I display a OSPF routing, I'll also see that I can see um, another address, which is uh, as we expect. I can see 777 from this router here. So effectively, I have got an OSPF network running across the red VPN. So let's have a look at that in IMC as well. So if I go across, the best place to have a look at that is... Um, layer 2 VPN and we'll look at the topology view and let's just refresh that so let's explain explain some of those elements in the layer 2 VPN um, you can see that I have got green connectivity all the way from my PEs to my CEs. Now a point to mention is that the C the the CEs are grayed out. The reason these CEs are grayed out is that these are unmanaged devices. So I have unmanaged devices in my layer 2 VPN. If I have management to those I could incorporate those as part of my layer 2 VPN. Something else interesting as well, um, which is part of the MPLS module, is also uh, I've imported these devices in the uh, the P's and the P's in the MPLS module, and you can see these in IMC. And if uh, I highlight those, I can look at the label switch path. But let's look at the layer two VPN now. And I'm going to try and deploy a layer two VPN between CE5 and CE8, which appeared off PE2 and PE3. So the first thing to do is to go across to the service module you go to the layer 2 VPN deployment manager across here and we're going to deploy a virtual least line. So once that comes up, I'm going to give it a name, blue, and I'm using LDP. So I just name it LDP. I'm going to be using Ethernet and not doing VLANs. I've got routers here or routers and I'll just give it a description of blue. That's the first stage in creating your layer two VPN. So I just click next. The good thing about IMC is it's pretty self-explanatory and it helps you to create these in a logical manner. So the next element is to configure your local PE and here we are we are going to do it on PE2 and my interface to my customer edge is a gigabit ethernet 20 so i simply go to select and imc gives me the option of selecting that vsr so I've selected that P device. I know it's gigabit 20. So I then select that gigabit 20 and I push it down using this arrow to the deployment task and click OK. Now in this instance, in the previous red VPN, I didn't manage the CE devices, but in this example, I'm going to do that. So that was a VSR 8 was the device that was sitting off of PE2. So I just click on that and I select OK. So you see that populate and you get a very good description of what's going on. So I just click Next. Now I have to build the next part 
or the other end of my um, circuit. So I select the PE, which we know is PE3. I go to my IP view, I select that PE. I know that that customer edge router is connected to gigabit 30. So I go and push that down to the deployment task and click OK. And we're going to manage uh, the C on the end of this as well. So I will select the C5 from my list. Uh, here it is. I click OK. And you'll see that populated. I don't have enough uh, screen space, but uh, it, it, it clearly shows you the layer 2 VPN that you're building. I then now just need to click Next. Now it does a whole bunch of checks and I'm just going to pause the video during this time because it's running off my laptop so it takes a bit longer than usual. Okay so once the checks are, are done uh, IMC then asks, shows you the deployment that it is going to uh, carry out but obviously uh, it's not going to carry out until you tell it to do it. So it shows you the configuration, uh, the cross connect, um, uh, the attached circuit that we defined, um, uh, the, 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 the MPLS peers it's going from, and we knew that it was going from two to three. So you can see that it's defined those peers and defined those attached circuit so I'm going to deploy this immediately so I just click check the deploy immediately box because I'm confident I'm in a lab environment and I click OK and then we should shortly get the next window that asks uh, that shows it's okay it's saying it's being applied if I just refresh we will see that it is actually successfully been applied so we, we could go to two places. I could go straight to the CE or I could go to the topology map. So let's go across to the topology map. Let's go across to the layer two VPNs. Now you can see my blue VPN has now appeared here. Uh, let's just refresh that. That's the red one we had already. Let's go to the blue one. Okay, so w when it comes up initially, it's it all sort of puts it into one place. So you just need to get them out of from on top of each other. There we are. So I've got PE3. I've got PE2. Let's sort of put it in the orientation I've got in the diagram. We've got C8. And we've got CE5. So according to IMC, it's been all built. It's all green. And I'm actually also uh, managing my CE devices. So I have successfully deployed the Layer 2 VPN using IMC. So let's go and check across to the actual CE devices and see what they can see. So uh, that is CE8 and CE5. So let's go across to CE5, hit return. Uh, let's display OSPF peer. Oops, display OSPF peer. You can see that this has now got a peer. Uh, before we didn't have one. If I do a display OSPF root, we now see that I can see 888, and uh, that's my local um, loopback. And uh, there we are. That's the overlapping address. That we were talking about earlier um, and uh, I'm guessing I can uh, ping uh, 
8.8.8.8. Pretty confident about that. So effectively, I've deployed a uh, layer two VPN. Now, uh, let's just show you how I can undeploy that layer two VPN to quite simply an IMC. And there's a, a, a good audit trail around that too. So um, I go to service, I go to my layer two VPN manager and uh, I go to resources and let's have a look at my VPN list. So here we can see that I've got my two VPNs, my red and the, um, my blue one that I've just created. Now I can uh, say, OK, I want to tear that down for whatever reason or a customer wants a reconfiguration. So I can just tick that out and I can check undeployment it asks me are you sure you want to undeploy that I say yes and it goes ahead and undeploys it and you can see I've got an audit trail now that uh, this was the successful deployment and then it says uh, being applied but if I refresh that I'm sure it says it was, it was then successful in undeploying it. Now uh, I can uh, I know that's the, the case in IMC, but let's go and check across to the devices. So as we if I just uh, display a OSPFP, we could see that has gone already. So I've successfully demonstrated to you how to deploy layer two VPNs using IMC. I hope that was useful and informative for you and thank you for watching.